Deanne here, sitting here on my porch having my coffee, and it is bright and early in the morning, and it is bright and sunshiny. In fact, you know what? It was a little bit chilly this morning, so I had my little jacket on. I'm going to have to take it off here in a little bit. Anyhow, I wanted to start today's video with the things that I have been getting delivered recently because they're going to have a part in what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So first off, I wanted to show you this. Now this had been sent to me a few days ago and I just have yet to, to mention it. Um, it's pretty awesome. It was on my wish list and I knew that it was coming. And it is One Step Sanitizer. Now I use this in my wine. I clean all my utensils, all the bottles, anything that touches the wine, I use this. And you just put one tablespoon in a gallon of water and you can keep reusing it too if the water's not like yucky and whatnot. I also put a couple teaspoons of this in a spray bottle and that is how I do dishes. It's no rinse, you don't have to rinse it off, it doesn't affect the flavor of the wine or anything. So this is amazing and this, one of these will last me oh, a good long time. Of course it depends on how much wine I'm making which is coming up very much soon. But anyhow, um, the note says, Anne can't wait for you uh, can't wait to see the wine you produce from Janet in Canada. Thank you so much, Janet. I love this. I needed it. And you're awesome. Okay. Another care package that was sent. And um, the person wants to remain anonymous. First of all, there is a big old bag of rice. And I make a lot of rice because I make a lot of rice and chicken for Betty. And I love it. I put it in everything. I like to make dirty rice, rice of all different kinds of dishes. So I have a set for rice for a while. And um, also sent in that package was two things of alcohol, two nice sized things of alcohol. And I've already used quite a bit of one of these, just like killing ants and stuff. And it works, it works. And this is gonna be great. I can use it as a topical antiseptic, which is also very, believe it or not, soothing over the bug bites I've been getting. Um, this and witch hazel works too. Um, so this is, this is awesome. I needed this also. This person sent two bottles of white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. And yes, I use this to make my pickled eggs. And I was actually starting to run out because I had poured so much on the ant heels. So I needed this too. So thank you very much, lovely person. Now there's, let's see. Oh, there's two more things. One of the things I ordered, and I'm going to show you that last. But let me show you. Oh, I got the dog collar also from um, Dr. Harris' office. That came in the mail. Of course, I paid for that. I'll take this receipt right off. And this is what it is called. It is only for ticks. It is not for cats. And um, so we're gonna we're gonna see how well she tolerates this. Put it on last night and it kind of this is what it looks like. Um, it takes 24 hours for it to start working and so far she's not had any issues with it. So if she's okay with this color, then we're gonna work on the fleas and the other stuff. Um, and figure out what to, to put on her. We don't want to keep adding things all at once. So thank you, Dr. Harris. Um, and then, last but not least, this is the final piece of the puzzle that I needed to get my new solar set up. And these are the solar connectors from Renegy. And I've got two of them. So I'm going to be able to hook that up and hopefully I'll be able to get that done today. That is like a top priority for today. And it says, a gift from Karen Tate. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate it so much. I needed this and this was on my wish list. She ordered it from my wish list. So um, I'm going to try and get this set up today. And then there's one more piece that I have ordered that... Um, will enable me possibly to keep using the Harbor Freight solar panels 
in addition to this, but that's something that I've ordered. It's a it's another kind of adapter, so we'll if that comes in, I'll see if I can use those too. So let me show you the last thing that I bought, and I got it yesterday. I wasn't supposed to get it for a couple more days, but I got it, and this is so cool. I bought a pop-up tent for the shower. This cost me just under 25 bucks, and it is huge. And when they say it's a pop-out tent, it absolutely is. It came in that little teeny tiny thing right there, and it just, you just, it explodes out of it and just pops right up so you got to be careful but look how huge it is it is basically the size of two tents almost and I ordered this off Amazon just opens up I haven't staked it down yet but it has a lot of room for now I've just put cardboard down to keep the weeds down and there's a the little kitty pool I'm going to put the bucket of water right there. I'm going to put my incidentals in some kind of stand or something over there. And this is where I'm going to shower. I made this decision because that shed, whew, there's yucky stuff in there. There's wasps that go in there. I know there's mice. There's other bugs and things that fly around and whatnot. And plus, it's really dark in that corner. And I just don't like going into there, in there to shower. So this is where I will be coming to shower. Shoot, I could even make this like kind of like a little bathroom if I wanted to. So I just need to stake this down and secure it. I'm probably going to leave it behind the house right here. Um, I don't know about keeping this here. I may have to move the, the rocket stove a little bit. But so far, the heat and the ashes don't go all over the place. So I think this will still be an okay place for it right here. And I am going to take a shower later today. It's going to be lovely. It is time to mess with this solar. All right, now I've got my Harbor Freight solar panels hooked up, and we're only at 12.0 because I basically have been using them way too much for fans and stuff. Uh, I'm bringing in 2.3 amps, and let's go see where these solar panels are located. I've got them pulled out here and kind of in and out of the shade. The sun is going to go past this up over this tree and it's going to come out here. I'm going to have plenty of sun right down in this area. So let's get the solar panel set up over here and see if we can get it to work. The first thing I've got to do is take these connectors and attach them to the solar panels and each wire has a positive or negative charge and that's the negative so we're going to hook that up to the negative connector both panels. Negative wire will go to this connector. Easy peasy. You gotta push it in until it snaps. And now the positive wires go on the other connector. Not too bad. Pretty easy to do. Yay, I did it. All right, the next part is this cable. I've got to hook that up to the connectors. But before I do that, I have to take a little bit of this rubber stuff off of the end of the wire so that I can, uh, there you go. I went over to Mr. Lucas and he, uh, he cut that off for me because that has to go into the charge controller. So now I just put the negative one in the negative and the positive one in the positive. And then you got to remember which wire is which because when you go to put it in the charge controller, the positive wire has to go in the positive slot, the negative one to the negative slot. Not too hard to figure out. There, let me unwrap that. Okay, um, I'm taking out the old solar panels and you can see it's not charging at all anymore. I'm getting zero amps in. And now, see, positive, negative. I've got the negative wire already in, and I'm going to shove the positive one in now. And got the positive one. They are both secured really well. Let's see. Is it charging? It is charging. 12.6. Let's see how many amps. Great, 5.7. About double. 
So let's go out to the solar panels and see what we can do to arrange them. They're not really facing the sun right now, so I need to move them kind of so that they're facing out towards me this way. I think at some point I can probably put them up against this, but for now this is what they need to be because that is them facing the sun and I just put like a little piece of wood up for a kickstand for one of them and put the other one against the garden bed. And there you go. Let's go inside and see how much I'm getting now. 13.3! Yay, that was quick. How many amps? Holy crap! 10.9! Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. 10.9. Yes! I'm so excited. I had to come over and tell Mr. Lucas after he'd helped me get the wires all ready that it's working. And I was excited. I'm like, he's like, just calm down. I'm like flying my hands all over the place. I was so excited. 10.9 amps, 11 amps. I'm going to be checking this all day because, you know, that area is not always that sunny. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens once the shade starts coming over. But right now they're in a really good spot. So um, eventually want that, once that one last adapter comes in, it's an SAE to MC4 adapter. Um, hopefully I'll be able to incorporate my old solar panels in and there's no telling how much I'll get. So um, it's a lot of power I'm getting and I'm gonna really have to kind of, um, that charge controller is supposed to have um, a shutoff thing so it won't overcharge. It's supposed to be fused. Um, the little connectors that I'm getting are supposed to be fused. I may look into getting some more fuses and incorporating them in the wiring just so that, you know, I don't get an overload. But guys, this is one of the happiest days of my life. I can't believe I did it. I did it and it's working. I totally don't believe it. I gotta check it again. 11! Ha ha! 10.9 11, yes! This is so exciting. I just cannot even believe it. All of that additional power. Now, I, I am eventually going to get another uh, battery. I've got 100, uh, one 100 amp hour battery, um, two 100 watt solar panels, and I'm going to get a third, so I'll have a total of 300. And if I can incorporate my old panels into the system, that's going to be 400. And it is bringing in basically 10 times more energy than my old system was. So this is going to be huge. I may be able to run one of those little uh, refrigerators. Um, I could probably run a window cooler, but that's just, I mean, I would basically drain my batteries in an hour and it doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, and I'd have to get a more powerful inverter. And I mean, I've got a 2000 watt, but the fan doesn't work and, you know, it heats up, so we don't want that. So this this is just so huge, and I, I can't believe that I accomplished this. I mean, almost all by myself. Mr. Lucas had to help me a little bit with the wires because I didn't have the, the little wire cutter, but he had one of the little clampy pulley things, so um, we were able to get that done. So I'm charging the laptop. I'm charging basically everything, and it's the, the, the power is not even dipping at all on the inverter or the charge controller either one it's working great so i'm just going to enjoy the rest of this day and see how it goes it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the shade hits the solar panels because they're monocrystalline and those are notorious for not working well in the shade my old panels are amorphous and they do fine in the shade but the the kind of panels i have are supposed to have some kind of bypass diode i don't even know what that is but um, it's supposed to not shut down all of the cells if one cell gets into the, into the shade. So whew, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna be watching my solar all day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.